Joining us now from the PNC Bank Cleveland Browns Radio Network, Doug Deacon. Doug, we'll start with, I guess, what has been our biggest story of the day, the rumor that Atava Rubin could either be asked to restructure his deal, be released, etc. Let's just start with your thoughts on that. I'm a big Atava Rubin fan. I think, you know, he kind of sets the tone for defensive linemen in regards to the, how they hustle and how the, you know, the energy he puts, you know, forward. And uh, he's probably one of the uh, better defensive tackles that, you know, people really don't know about. But uh, as far as restructuring, you know, that, that's a different uh, ball game in regards to, you know, what they're trying to accomplish there, uh, you know, and, you know, what, what he can make. I mean, you know, then you, you put that on the heels of, you know, the release of uh, DeQuell Jackson. Uh, you know, those are those are two guys that are, you know, good leaders in the, uh, in the clubhouse in different ways. Uh, DeQuell uh, is not afraid to grab a, was not afraid to grab a guy by his shirt and tell him, you know, what he thought. And Atuba, you know, like I said, is you know he was led by example, and that's the way he played the game. He plays the game. You point out some things that I think others might overlook, which is, as you say, the heart and soul aspect of it and what an example, what that means to other players. And, and you speaking also from the perspective of a former player, th these are things that I, I would think have to be considered. It can't just be a bottom line decision. No, I think there's, there's a lot that goes in. And I think, you know, the quell, you know, age was starting to get against him. And I, I remember after we came back from Pittsburgh, uh, the last game of the season, Quell and Joe Thomas were out in the parking lot, and I started talking to him. And you know, the news had broken about uh, Chuck getting fired. But you know, I, I told him, I said to both of them, I said, hey, I just hope you guys are here when this football team wins because you can really enjoy this town because this town is special when this foot, uh, the football team is winning. And uh, you know, unfortunately for Quell, much like Bill uh, Dawson. You know, it never happened. And, you know, those are guys uh, that, you know, you, you, when you get to know them, they're more than just football players. They're special people. Doug, you want to get Alex Mack back, and you want to get that done. How important do you think it is now, knowing that there is that void of leadership with the Quell, to make sure that a guy like Alex Mack and a guy like T.J. Ward, who have been here, can be presences that they are brought back? Well, I mean, obviously there, there's a, there is a, a need for leadership. Uh, you know, you look at the captains, Joe, uh, Thomas is one of the captains, and Joe is a guy that, you know, leads by example, and uh, I think his reputation speaks, you know, highly. But, you know, Joe's not uh, the guy, you know, like the quell that would grab a guy and, you know, jump on him and say, hey, you can't do that in this league. And uh, I, I think you have to find somebody like that. And, you know, I don't... You know, maybe the fact that the quell was there didn't allow somebody else to do it because they figured out of seniority and respect, you know, that was the quell's job. But uh, the quell was great. I remember uh, watching a pr uh, practice in training camp and uh, seeing Josh Gordon one time kind of dog it after uh, he missed a pass. And, you know, the quell grabbed him. And, uh, you know, I, I said, you know, that is, that is one guy I want on my football team. And I think, you know, we were very fortunate to enjoy him. And I just, you know, he's gone from a 3-4 to a 4-3 to a back and forth. And, uh, you know, he, he, he played his heart out. And uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for the quell. In fact, I texted him after I heard about him. And, you know, in 40-some years, he, he's one of my top uh, all-time players. Touchdown! A fine somersault in for the quell.